Hello and welcome back. So far we've covered how to track time more conveniently using Clockify apps and how our apps work offline. Now we'll go over a lot of other handy features like idle detection, reminders and more. Let's start with idle detection. Imagine you have a timer running and you go on a break but forget to stop the timer. Clockify can recognize when you're away from the computer so you can exclude the inactive time. To enable idle detection, go to settings and specify how many minutes of inactivity should the idle detection trigger. So for example, if we set it to 15 and I leave the computer while the timer is running, Clockify will notice when we stop typing or moving the mouse. Then, when we come back after 15 minutes, we'll get an alert. We can choose to remove those 15 minutes and everything after that, or we can keep it by dismissing the alert. This information is completely private and won't appear anywhere in Clockify. It also means that if, for example, you leave the computer but are active on your phone, you'll still get the idle alert when you get back to the computer. Next are reminders. Clockify can remind you to track time when it notices you don't have a timer running. To enable reminders, go to settings and choose on which days you wish to receive them and between which hours. For example, you probably don't need them after 5 p.m. or on weekends when you're off work. This particular setting means that you'll get a reminder if it's a weekday between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. If a timer is currently not running and more than 10 minutes have passed since your last time entry. Clockify can also automatically start and stop the timer for you. Enable automatic start or stop in settings and then once you open the browser, the timer will start on its own and stop when you close it at the end of the day. Another handy feature is default project. If you work on the same project the whole day, you can set that project as default. Then each time you start a new timer, the project will be automatically selected. You can also set the last used project and Clockify will select a project from your most recent entry, which is useful when you frequently switch between activities. And finally, Clockify comes with a built-in Pomodoro timer. If you're not familiar with it, Pomodoro is a popular time management technique for improving productivity that entails working for 25 minutes straight, followed by a five minute break. Here's how the Pomodoro technique works in a nutshell. Go to settings and enable Pomodoro. These settings basically say you'll work for 25 minutes and when the time's up, you'll take a break of five minutes during which you can stretch or grab a snack. Then you'll work for 25 minutes again and so on. After three small breaks, you'll take a longer 30 minute break for lunch. Let's see how this works in practice. You start the timer and when it reaches 25 minutes, you'll get an alert to take a break. If you don't want to go on a break just yet, you can just dismiss the alert and continue working. Once you click start break, a new timer will start. After five minutes, you'll get an alert to continue working on your previous activity. By introducing this work break work pattern, you'll improve your focus and get more things done. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos as well as like, share and subscribe.